Soy un republicano, registrado republicano, pero en este momento me encuentro indeciso. A Republican. I am a registered Republican, but at this time I am undecided. Durante la campaña se han utilizado muchas teorías de conspiración. During the campaign, there has been some conspiracy theories in use. Le doy un ejemplo si me permite. If you allow me, I would like to give an example of it. Las autoridades de Springfield, Ohio, han aclarado una y otra vez que los haitianos no se están comiendo los perros ni los gatos de sus gentes. The authorities in Springfield, Ohio, have one, more than one time clarified that the Haitians are not eating their cats and their dogs. Sin embargo, usted les quiere revocar su permiso que tienen para residir legalmente en este país. Nonetheless, you want to revoke the permit they have to legally reside in this country. Mi pregunta con todo respeto es si usted verdaderamente cree que estas personas se comen las mascotas de la gente. My question to you very respectfully is, do you really believe that these people are eating the people's pets? Thank you. Well, thank you very much. And this was just reported. I was, re I was just saying what was reported. That's been reported. Uh, and eating other things, too, that uh, they're not supposed to be. But this is all I do is report. I, w I have not. I was there. I'm going to be there. And we're going to take a look. And I'll give you a full report when I do. But that's been in the newspapers and reported pretty broadly. I will say this as far as Springfield is concerned, because I do know that situation. You have a city of 52,000 people, and they've added almost 30,000 uh, migrants into the city. If you were a person that lived there, if you lived in Springfield, Ohio, and all of a sudden you couldn't get into a hospital, you couldn't get your children into a school, uh, you wouldn't be able to buy groceries, you could no longer pay the rent because the government's paying rent, any of that, if, if any of that happened, it would be a disaster for you and you wouldn't be happy. Uh, we want to make our people safe and secure and we want to make them happy. But Springfield, Ohio is an, a perfect example. You have a, a town, a beautiful little town with no problems. All of a sudden, they have 30 or 32,000 people dropped into the town, most of whom don't speak the language, most of whom don't speak the language at all. And what they're doing is they're looking all over for interpreters. Well, I mean, I think you can't just destroy our country. It's, uh, maybe some people disagree with me, but you can't, you can't put, in a very short period of time, 32,000 people into a 50,000 people town and expect things to go well. It's a disaster. It's a total disaster. And the people that live there are, you know, they want to leave, they want to move, because if you, if you read about it or talk to them, people want to move, they want to leave, because they've never had anything like this. And we can't let that happen to our towns and our cities and our country. Just can't let it happen. It's not, it's not sustainable. I appreciate the question. Thank you. I hope you vote for a republic.